tried to walk off. I was tired going in and out, back and forth, in and out of the hospital, anxieties back and forth. Thought I was about to leave here because of all the pressure. My God, take a plane. Trying to carry church. Come on now. Because that was all I knew. And when God pulled back the curtain, well, the last time I was in the hospital with anxiety, he said, son, when you were out on Route 2 and you exit your body, he said, did you experience any trauma? I said, no, sir. He said, did you experience any pain? I said, no, sir. He said, your everyday walk on this earth should be the same way. You are in the world, but you are not of the world. Your walk is a spiritual walk. The Bible tells us plainly, he that walks in the spirit will not fulfill the lust of the flesh. The only way we're going to make it in this day and age that we are in we're going to have to get back in our spirit. Well, we're going to have to live from our spirit. Yes, 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 yes. God has already done everything for us. Yes. Then he turned around and created us in his own image. Yes. Like himself. Yes. And the only way that we're going to accomplish in this day and age against everything that the enemy has set out, we're going to have to be living from the Spirit of God in yeah. us. Yeah. 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 We claimed, I think we uh, declared it last night or Sunday or Wednesday, one of the days in Colossians 1.27. This was hidden from us. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It was hidden from us, but God wanted us to know these things. Yeah. And he wanted us to know the rich inheritance right. that we have yeah. in him. Yeah. Yeah. And then he turns around and said, this is the secret. Yeah. Yeah. And the secret is Christ, Christ lives in you. Yeah. I'm going to say that again. Christ lives in you. This is what we got to come to a conclusion of. If Christ lives in us, who can ever stand against us? If God be for us, I don't care what's happening around us, we will not and we will refuse to connect to it. I say this all the time. A thousand shall fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come. I love God's shells because his shells don't backfire. His shell does not backfire. Understand this. We dwell in the secret place of the Most High. We abide under the shadow of the Almighty. What can stop you? What can overtake you? My brothers and sisters, we got to know where we stand in this thing. I don't go to church to just run to the altar. I go to church to continue to lean on the pastor. I need you to teach me how to do this thing. Jesus did not raise up slaves. He raised up leaders. And we are responsible for raising up leaders. Oh, yeah, the more of us that get developed in the walk of God. I love it when Paul said, it is in him that I live, I move, and I exist. Because without that, I'm not even here. Jesus says, it is the spirit that quicken and the flesh profit nothing. Y'all 
Y'all miss that right there. The flesh probably got all this dependence on the flesh. I've asked people, when was the last time you heard God talk? They say, well, I've been saved on teams of years, but I've never. Oh, my goodness. We got work to do. Because, 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 except we hear God, not only in the church, but outside of the church, except we know. See, when you walk in here, you've heard from God. God will confirm what He said. Are y'all going to stay with the people? See, 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 your famine, there is no famine. That famine is over. It's your time, it's your season for miraculous miracles. Are you going to step into that place? Because in order to step into that place, you're going to have to be willing to step off the boat. Yeah, 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 uh -huh. yeah, yeah don't let me be gone before you catch up. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you're going to step, the water, the walking on the water represents the impossible. I'm willing to step off the boat. I love it when Brother Paul says, I'm, I'm just flowing in the Holy Ghost. Is that all right? In Philippians chapter 3, verse 13, he said, I forgot all. That I knew. Yeah. And well educated. Very well educated. Yeah. 72 dialects. Yeah, very well. But I'm willing to forget everything I know. Yeah. And a lot of us in the church, we need to be willing to forget oh. everything that. Okay, I ain't gonna like this. I'm gonna say you. Can I say you something? If you step on your toe, just, just say ouch and let's go, brother pastor. Let's keep it moving. Go to God. Repent because I didn't know. But you're here tonight so God can tell you. Forget everything you knew so you can step into the place of God and Ephesians chapter 5 start to imitate Him in everything you do. Then you will get God's results. The Bible, the Bible, oh my God. The Bible tells us that the blessing of the Lord I love it in Amplify. The blessing of the Lord, yeah. it brings uh -huh. wealth yeah. 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 without painful toil. Yeah. Look at your neighbor, tell him your toiling days are over. Go ahead on the other side, tell him your toiling days are over. We're, we're entering into the fourth dimension tonight. We're, we, I want you to have your spiritual ears on. Not your flesh ears, not your education ears. I want you to hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. Because the church has been lagging for far too long. The church is supposed to be a city that's set on a hill that cannot be here. And, and in the midst of gross darkness, according to Isaiah 16, in the midst of gross darkness, everyone will run to church. As opposed to running from the church. But those of us that are in the church have got to demonstrate God himself. Am I in the right place? Don't everybody read from me. Don't we got to read this time. Look at your nigga tell him this time. It's time, it's time to demonstrate God. Yeah. Yeah. All right. It's time instead of just preaching the thing. Let's demonstrate the thing. People followed Jesus because there was demonstration. They saw demonstration. See, see, and, and he turned around and says, and, and in Matthew chapter 10, I think it's around verse 8, he turned around and says, once he got him, he said, now all power has been given unto me. Yeah. Looked at the disciples and said, now you go. Yeah. Heal the sick. Right. Raise the dead. Come right. up here. Right in the right place. Right. Cause miraculous yeah. miracles to take place. Just like I did. Okay, let me take it to another place. In the book of St. John, I believe it is. Lord God, they saw Jesus take two fish, five loaves, yeah. and feed over 5,000. I said, man, I'm about 20,000. Yeah, yeah, because that was just women. Uh, let's add everybody else. Yeah. yeah. But anyway, they saw him. Now, the next time that this came up, Jesus knew that they supposed yeah. to know what to do. Yeah. Okay, so the disciples, again, wanted to send them away. Jesus said, no, 
looked at the disciples and said, you feel. Oh, you feel. See, we don't just say I'll pray for you. We're going to do some demonstration. We're going to help you. And, 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 and we've seen so many times where we looked out and looked like it wasn't enough. But we saw it expand. Yeah. Where there was leftovers. Right. Oh, right. Right. Oh, right. Right. So, 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 so we got to just yeah. all this God that we've been preaching and singing about, shouting about, and going through about. Uh -huh. Listen, we got to understand all this God is in us. Yeah. And if we would walk out, step out like him against all odds, yeah. he will show up yeah. every time. Yeah. I will never let you get to a wall. And not take you through it. I will never let you be in a fiery furnace, a lion's den, and not get you out of it. I will never let you walk through a battle, let you walk on water, and you drown. No way, no how. God is with you. God is in you. And God is for you. You don't have no weak God. You don't have no weak God. And Hollywood has showed your picture. They try to make God look weak. Oh, the devil can outdo God out of devil as a liar. Yeah, man, his mom and law, his courage, and all the rest of them. No, no, no. But see, Hollywood painted a picture. That all we do is just go to church. The more poor you are, the more holy you are. And just go through the motions of church. And then when we walk out the door, we go back to the same hell hole. But I prophesy to you tonight that that is over. I prophesy that to you tonight that will receive it. That is over for you. Oh, you shout if you receive that. See, this is what I'm talking about. See, see, see. When you come out like this. And getting people in a place like this. See, 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 they're going to do you like they did Jesus. They hated him. Yeah. They wanted to stone him. They wanted to get rid of him. Yeah. He walking in the church. Glory to God. And people followed him out to church. And the rabbis and the pastors, I call them pastors, they, they, they get upset. They get upset. He healed it on the Sabbath. They don't yeah. supposed to be doing all this stuff. What's wrong with you? they trying to find thought to shut him down. And they're going to try to find thought to shut you down. But you don't have to be willing to stand up for And be willing to do it anyway. Except. Except. You see the miracle. Don't believe a thing I say. Except. You see. The miracle. Don't believe. Now, if Jesus is saying this, we got work to do. The people are supposed to experience and be recipients of the miraculous signs and wonders of God. Isaiah chapter 8, verse 18. He says, I and the children that God has given me are made for. I'm putting y'all to sleep. Some of y'all with me. He said we were made for signs and wonders. That's why I say sometimes people just need to chill out and get some teaching. I love to shout. I love to shout. I love to dance. I love to do all that. But sometimes I like to just be still so I can get this stuff and digest it in my spirit. Glory to God. I'll shout at the car lot. I'll, I'll shout at the hospital. I'll, I'll shout. Come on, here, somebody. At the realtor's office. I'll, I'll shout at the bank. I'll shout. Glory to God. But right now, I got to digest some things so that my life can do a three right, right. transformation. Glory to God. Look at your neighbor and say, It's your time. Get up. Always lay hands on you. Let me take you to our thing from Psalm 119, verse 25. This man lay in the dust and turned around. Y'all was with me last night. I read it. 
no reacción normal, it's not just, just look it up. It's there, New Living Translation. Yeah. He, this man laid in the dust yeah. and he says to God, revive me mm -hmm. with your word. Yes. Revive me yeah. by your word. word. See, this word right here that's going out is destroying yokes. Yeah. Yeah. Even now, it's yeah. destroying yeah. something yeah. that has been yeah. against you. Because, because this the anointing destroys yokes. See, when you're in the midst of anointing, don't don't sit there, be carnal, and be open. Because that's your moment, that's your time for you to experience your miracle. The thing that you've been concerned about, I'm prophesying to somebody here tonight, it has ended. The thing that you have been concerned about before you got here tonight, I promise to you, is ended. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Tell them tonight is your night. Tonight is your night. Get up. Get out of the worry. Get out of the stress. Let go of the depression. All that's over with. Tonight I wake up to my God set. And I'm rising up out of this dumb heap. And I'm stepping into the God image. And everything is shifting from this point forward. I will never ever be the same again. From this night forward. There's a transformation.
only see it with your eyes. For it shall not come nigh you. He said, that's the reward of the wicked. If you are not of the wicked, don't take it in. That's not my problem. That's not my word. Somebody in here who 
who's on the verge of giving up. God, I got you here for a reason. He's reviving you tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's reviving your faith tonight. You're motivated tonight to get back into the place that God has called you. Come on and give him some praise. Come on and give him some praise.
somebody else said before they got home. Last night they experienced it. Yeah. 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 Thank you, God. Thank you. I looked at my portfolio this afternoon. From yesterday and today. A giant jump. In my portfolio. He, uh, why everybody else talking? Recession. Come on, that shouldn't be in your vocabulary. Because while the recession and the meltdown is hitting them, God is pumping you. Y'all better come back. This ain't your mediocre service. Here. Your traditional self. You gotta open to, to receive some of your thoughts. Just, yeah. just, just, just tell me. Because I need to know. Yeah. I'm here standing as a vessel tonight to let yeah. you know. Yeah. Yeah. Receive the pump. Yeah. Let them go on and fall. Okay. You experience the pump. Yeah. Yeah. In the midst of famine. Yeah. Huh, Isaac yeah. wanted to leave. The good. God said, no, 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 no. I want you to sow. Because the famine is not you. That's them. I'll pour water in your dry place. While everything else around you is dry, you will have plenty. You will be Center. Yeah, yeah. Open to help other people yeah, yeah, yeah. and let them know God is still performing miracles. God is still opening up his thoughts and pouring out on his people. God knows what day and time you were going to be in, or else he wouldn't have put you here. Your ladder shall be greater than the former. So if this is the end, guess what? I'm receiving the greater. Y'all didn't catch that. Not sit and die because I'm looking at it in. No, God knew I was going to be here. Yes, he did. In 2023, November yeah. 3rd. Yeah. He knew I was going to be here. Because yeah. yeah. before you even entered your mother's womb. Yeah. 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 He predestined your walk. That's right. So he knew you were going to be here. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Thank you, Lord. But you got to know. Yeah. Yeah. Don't listen. Thank you, Lord. I prophesy you're not going to lose this time. Yeah. All right. You're not going to miss it this time. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Praise that as sound. You're just going to say, nevertheless, yeah. at his word, at his word. because he said it, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. You're going to praise Oh, yeah. You're going to read the results of this. Yeah. Yeah, you're going to know that the Lord was in this place. You're going to know that he moved in his house and done some things. You're going to know it. I need 10 people to jump up real fast with $30 seat.